Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all the different restaurants and cafes that I visited while I was in Melbourne recently. And this was pretty much my first time in Melbourne since going vegan. So I was pretty excited to check out some of these places. And it was actually also my first time going to World Vegan Day in Melbourne. So it was a lot of fun. I got to catch up with a lot of people who I hadn't seen in a really long time. And of course, I got to eat a ton of delicious vegan food. So let's get straight into it. And I'm not going to put this in any particular order. I'm just going to talk about the different places that we went to and show you what we ate there and whether I would recommend it or not. So on one of the mornings we were really craving like some kind of smoothie bowl so we ended up finding this place called Smooth Me Superfood Bar and they mainly have like smoothie bowls and smoothies and juices and all of that kind of stuff and they had a lot of variety um, any of the smoothies they had on their menu they said that they could turn into a smoothie bowl so it was a little bit overwhelming with so much to choose from, which I think is why we ended up just getting acai bowls. Um, but yeah, it was really delicious. And another thing is they had a huge variety of different toppings to put on the smoothie bowl. And you could choose every single topping that you wanted. So that was definitely a really good thing. And yeah, if you're after some kind of smoothie or juice or smoothie bowl, I would definitely recommend checking this place out. I felt like it was kind of hidden in a side street and it took us a while to find. Um, we were using the Happy Cow app to find it, um, but I'm so glad we did find it because I really enjoyed having these acai bowls. So Smith & Daughters is like this pub style restaurant that we'd heard a lot of good things about. So naturally it was on our list of places to check out and they did not disappoint. Apparently the menu frequently changes and this time around it was like a Spanish Mexican themed menu. So I ended up getting a burrito and Anthony ended up getting like a pressed sandwich and we also got some garlic bread to share between us. All of it was really flavorful and delicious and I would 100% recommend checking this place out if you're ever in Melbourne. So Smith & Deli is owned by the same people who own Smith & Daughters and as its name suggests, it is a deli style um, type of cafe and it mainly sells a lot of sandwiches and cakes. We actually went here on our last day in Melbourne uh, so we ended up going in the morning, so they only had their breakfast menu on. So we ended up getting a breakfast pack, which had like a breakfast sandwich. It had potato salad and also had a donut. Unfortunately, we didn't get to try any of the sandwiches from their lunch menu because it was too early in the day. They hadn't finished preparing them yet. Um, but yeah, I've heard really good things about them. So that's just something I'm gonna have to try next time I'm in Melbourne. So on one of the nights we went to this pizza joint called Red Sparrow Pizza. And we actually hadn't planned on going to this place because we hadn't heard of it. Um, but a couple of friends organized a dinner here. And oh my God, I'm so glad that we went to this place because the pizza was amazing. Everything was 100% vegan and it was up there with some of the best pizza that I've ever had. We ended up sharing two pizzas between us which was a mushroom pizza and a pepperoni pizza and we also shared a dessert Nutella pizza which was so delicious and yeah if you love pizza I would definitely recommend checking this place out. It was amazing. Urban Produce is a cafe that I've been wanting to check out for so long, ever since they first opened. And it's actually owned by a friend of mine and her family. So I was really excited to check this place out. 
and they definitely did not disappoint. So we both got a turmeric latte each and I got a big breakfast which had tofu scramble, uh, mushroom beans, guacamole and sourdough toast and it was incredible. Anthony had like an avo smash on toast with some mushroom and we also shared some sweet potato fries. We also really wanted to try their pancakes because we had heard some really good things about them but unfortunately we were just so full that we couldn't have fit them in. I would probably say that this was my favourite vegan cafe that I visited while I was in Melbourne and mainly because it was a little bit healthier than some of the other places that we went to but the food tasted just as amazing. On our last night in Melbourne we went to this place called Veggie Bar which is a restaurant that serves both vegan and vegetarian food. They had a lot of variety on their menu, so they had like a good mixture of westernized food like burgers and they also had Asian food such as stir fries and noodles and all of that kind of stuff. I ended up getting a satay curry with rice and Anthony got a burger with some potato chips. Both were really good. The only thing I didn't like about this restaurant is it was really noisy and it was just so many people packed into this restaurant and most of the time Anthony and I could hardly hear each other talking to each other so that was the only thing I didn't really like but as a positive they also had like a takeaway store um, next door to the restaurant where you can get your food for takeaway so if you don't like that noisy restaurant environment you can get it takeaway so you can eat it at home or somewhere that's a lot more quiet. So the same people who own Veggie Bar also own this 100% vegan ice cream bar called Girls and Boys and we ended up going back to this place twice because we enjoyed it so much. This is the chocolate hazelnut ice cream we had for dessert one night. But the best thing at Girls and Boys is the chocolate fix shake that I forgot to film, but it is literally the best thing ever. So if you're ever in Melbourne and you go to Girls and Boys, order the chocolate fix shake. You can thank me later. So donut time is not 100% vegan, but they usually have like one or two flavors that are vegan. So I just wanted to give this place a mention because the donuts that were vegan were amazing. We had this Liam Hemsworthy donut, which was basically like a red velvet donut with cookies and cream topping. It was probably one of the best vegan donuts that I have ever had. I'm not usually like a donut person, like if I'm craving sweets, I don't really go for donuts. But these ones were actually really good and they didn't leave like this real heavy feeling in my stomach either, which is a good bonus. So yeah, if you're a donut person, then I would definitely recommend checking this place out because I would say they're probably the best vegan donuts that I've ever had. I also just want to make a special mention to Young Green Food and Madame K's Vegetarian. Um, both of these restaurants we went to for dinner and I completely forgot to film but basically they are both more Asian styled vegan restaurants and both of them served really delicious food so I do recommend checking these restaurants out as well and yeah sorry I don't have any footage. All of the restaurants and cafes that I mentioned in this video are actually on the Happy Cow app. So if you haven't got it, I highly recommend that you download it to your smartphone. Or you can also check out their website, which is also kind of like the same thing. But basically, it's like this huge online directory of all the different vegan and vegetarian restaurants, cafes and stores and they also show uh, non-vegan restaurants that provide vegan options. So we wouldn't have been able to find half the places that we did if we didn't have this app. So I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. 
Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content from my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.